I'm here on behalf of House Bill 1015, uh, which is basically revisions to the Dora Sunrise application process. Uh, sunrise application process, of course, is the method by which previously unregulated professions are considered for state regulation. Uh, upon receipt of a Sunrise application, uh, Dora Policy and Research Department conducts research into the professional group that is seeking regulation. At the conclusion of the Sunrise, sunrise application process, the Executive Director of DORA issues a report which recommends for or against the proposed regulation. Uh, following the Executive Director's report, the General Assembly then is allocated two regular sessions during which it can consider legislation to regulate that professional group. Now, just a little history. Before 2008, the Sunrise application process took 18 to 24 months to complete. House Bill 7, 13, 11 streamlined that process and reduced the timeline to 120 days. With input from Barbara Kelly, Executive Director of DORA, uh, Representative Fulbert in the House introduced House Bill 1024 last session to maintain the time and cost saving 120 day process established by this legislation while shifting application and reporting then with deadlines earlier in a given year. That bill, me, that bill passed the House 61-4 and then died in Senate Committee. Uh, House Bill 12-10-15 is, is basically effectively the same bill as last year with one key point that proved to be controversial, key change. The bill last year included a limitation that no more than five new regulatory proposals could be considered by the General Assembly during any one given session, general session. And some members opposed that bill uh, and uh, concept of limiting future assemblies, that issue is not included in this bill. Purpose for shifting the sun Sunrise application and reporting deadlines earlier in a given year is to provide every effective business professional time to prepare. Uh, those for and against the proposed regulatory scheme now have, would now have the time to work with sponsoring legislators to better prepare themselves and craft better legislation before the session begins. So House Bill 1015 basically also provides the Executive Director of DORA the time to identify emergency cases where public safety merits immediate consideration of a regulatory proposal and also provide that authority to waive the 120-day research and report process. So if the Executive Director waives the research and report process, the recommendation would come to the Legislative Council for review. Members of Ledge Council would then have their final say as to whether the emergency merit waiver, merited waiver of the research and report process, thereby slating the issue for the next general session. So House Bill 1015 also has no fiscal impact. You know, in conclusion, with input from Dora, we seek to maintain the best that uh, Representative Rosemary Marshall's uh, House Bill 7, 1311 uh, proposed by maintaining that 120-day research and report process while honoring the original work of the late representative Jerry Copel, the man considered to be the father of the Sunrise process. Interested parties and members of the General Assembly would benefit from shifting the application process to a point early in the year and allowing this adequate time to prepare for the upcoming general session. Any questions that you may have? Are there any questions for the bill sponsor? Um, Senator Williams? Thank you, Madam Chair. So Senator Neville, uh, is anyone here from DORA to uh, support no. you in this endeavor? No, ma'am, I don't believe DORA took an actual position on the bill per se. <laughs> I know they had input, but uh, I don't believe they took a position for or against. That's an insight. Okay. Uh, uh, Senator John? <laughs> well, <laughs> Senator Williams? Uh, continue. They might not be here, and they might not have taken a position. Maybe that's why they're not here for Or to be neutral? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Did you work with them? And actually, I, I, I'm, I'm carrying this in the Senate, but Representative Holbert definitely worked with DORA to make sure that we didn't have any issues, and I know of no issues that came up. You know, Senator Williams, you know I think speak. if DORA had an issue, that they would have their minions here. Um, <laughs> since they don't have an issue, and that's why they're not here. Um, <laughs> or if they were neutral, they would have their minions here. You had an issue. <laughs> no, that... Uh, Previous bill. <laughs> Senator John, did you have a comment? No, no. Um, is there any other questions for Senator Neville? Senator Harvey? Thank you, Madam Chair. I move House Bill 1015 to complete the whole thing for recommendation. Um, proper motion. Okay. 
Senator Harvey. Aye. Senator John. Aye. Senator Mitchell. Yes. Senator White. Yes. Senator Williams. Yes. Senator Aguilar, excuse, Madam Chair. Aye. Do I hear another motion? Senator Harvey. To the consent calendar, please. Um, and we'll vote to the consent calendar. Uh, congratulations, Senator Neville. You're two out of three. With that, business labor technology is adjourned. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. The department won't be there, of course, yet.